안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. I don't know if you could already see me before I press the button go live, but um, I was just setting up my computer and yeah, I was getting ready because I, I opened the, um, I raised the blinds a little bit so that more light can come in. So 반갑습니다. If you're watching this after this live session is over, please look at the first pinned comment down below for all the necessary timestamps. And um, while more people are coming in, hola, 안녕하세요, hello, um, I would like to send out a tweet um, <laughs> containing the link to this live session so that more people can come in. Um, if you are not familiar with our Twitter account, we are at TTMIK. By the way, is the font big enough? Yes, we are at TTMIK. And that's where you can ask questions um, when the live sessions are not happening, okay? So here, let me just send out a tweet. Uh, join me, join us for another fun and useful Korean, live Korean class right now. Bam! There you go, and I'm going to be reading your comments from here and here. Today the weather is amazing. I mean, right now the weather is amazing. It's going to rain later. Um, okay, oh, Susanna. <laughs> 오늘 아침에 제가 아는 형님 보고 있었을 때그 무한자가 나왔어요. Ah, the subtitle on the show, 아는 형님, the 형님 that I know. Um, was 할말 무, 할말 없음. So yeah, just like that. Since everybody assumes, uh, this is by the way related to the Hanja lesson that we did yesterday, yesterday morning. People assume that um, there are certain characters from the Hanja system based on the Chinese characters that every Korean person must know at least the Korean pronunciation part of it. So yeah, they just use it like that very, very freely. Uh, 경은 선생님은 mm, when is 경은 going to teach an online class? Hmm. We'll see if she will be here before I finish today's class. I will drag her in, okay? <laughs> I'll drag her in. 경은 usually arrives at the office around 10 o'clock, like a little after 10, depending on the day. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I just had a triple shot coffee for you guys so that I can feel energized. I actually spent the whole day yesterday with the kids. Um, I took a day off. Um, that's why Kyung Ha was here to give you the class. Um, and uh, I'm exhausted <laughs> from <laughs> yesterday. <clears throat> yes, so I'm caffeinated, yes. All right, so today, you saw the title, right? What is the class about today? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna talk about it. We are going to talk about the past tense, but not just any past tense. Even if you do know the past tense, like 어제 집에 있었어요, 학교에 갔어요, 친구를 만났어요, stuff like that. I did things like that. Um, the simple past tense. There are some past tense variations that even advanced learners can learn. So. Let's practice together, okay? 과거 시제. We're gonna be talking about 과거 시제. I'm gonna make, make the font a little bigger for you guys. Uh, but not just any 과거 시제. 과거 시제 plus more, okay? 안녕하세요. Spelling always kills you. Uh, yeah, 과거. 과. 과 is uh, from like many Korean words are from Chinese, you don't have to know the Chinese language. Yeah, just a little bigger, okay. Or I can bring the computer a little closer for you guys without dropping it, I hope. Yeah. So, if you already know Chinese, 과, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> 과 means, wow. <clears throat> <clears throat> Coffee. Mm. I actually had a triple, <laughs> triple shot latte. So mm, it's milk. Kwa is it passed. Kuo, like kuala, and ko is go. So chi. So it 
past and went. So the past, it happened. <laughs> Drink more coffee. I need more water. <laughs> yeah, it's outside. Yeah, 과거. So 과거 시제 and more. And the first 과거 시제 that we need to talk about is the basic one, okay? <laughs> yeah, my poor throat. I've been talking too much. All right. So, this is the form that we... Oh, Korea, please. This is the form that we put in our textbooks and grammar lessons. So, 아서요, 어서요, or 여서요. 아서요 with uh, verb endings, verb stems that end with o or a. Everything else, almost everything else. 어서요, like uh, 갔어요, 먹었어요. And only ha is followed by 여서요, and 하였어요 becomes 했어요, okay? Like in the past, people used to th used to say 하였어요. And in very formal writing, you can say 하였습니다, something like that. But 했어요 is more common. So, so, so uh, we won't do too much practice with this because you probably already all know this. If you're new to it, just practice with me a few times. So let me write down a bunch of um, verbs. If, if you can suggest some verbs, please let me know. Um, like there are lots of hesoya verbs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You want to learn Korean in Japanese? Maybe in the future. <laughs> okay, so um, something that is not 했어요. 보다, okay, 왔어요. A speed conjugation session, 만들다. 팔다. 먹다, I already did that. 楽しみ Thank you. <laughs> 보다. Uh -huh. 만나다. What else? 통화하다. 통화하다. 통... <laughs> 통화하다. 통화했어요. I talked to someone on the phone. 들다. 들었어요. The funny thing is 듣다, the verb for listen, also Conjugate to, 들었어요, 사다, <웃음> 샀어요, 어, 찾다, 찾았어요. Okay, <웃음> last one. Yeah, so that's enough. So those are the... <웃음> I need water, okay? Keep the sentences coming. I will go get water, all right? This is going to be a very good timestamp for Hyunwoo leaves for water. Where is the typo? Oh, here. Yeah. <clears throat> throat his throat okay so so that's the um, guys that's the basic past tense conjugation and I think we got it all right many of you already got it uh-huh and we're going to talk about three major variations that you can use starting from today all right and the first one is let me know if this is new to you so basically, a, o, yo, ta, wasoyo. Is this new to you? Yeah, other than my latte, just making my throat a little bit, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? 
뭔가 걸린 것 같았는데 something was in my throat. I'm I'm totally healthy and yeah. Okay, it's new to you. All right. So 하다 왔어요 is a very good sentence pattern or phrase that you can use to talk about something you're doing before coming here. Okay? You were doing something and you came over here. <laughs> Frog in my throat. <laughs> 개굴, 개굴, 개굴. Elizabeth, thank you for the wonderful compliment. So, let's conjugate, okay? Um, 공부하다, to study. And then you can say 공부하다 왔어요. So, it might be confusing at first because of the dictionary form and this form being similar, right? But you are actually conjugating it. Um, 밥 먹어, 밥 먹다. 밥 먹다 is usually conjugated to 밥 먹어요 in the uh, present tense, 밥 먹었어요 in the past tense, right? But you just take this part or the verb stem and then 다 왔어요 and conveniently by putting 다 after a verb stem it becomes the same as the dictionary form. How convenient, okay? So, 밥 먹다 왔어요. 밥 먹다 왔어요. Yeah. Oh, rain. 전 방금 아침 먹다 왔어요. Okay. Uh, Slovan, how is it different from 공부하고 왔어요? Great, great question. So, 밥 먹고 왔어요. So, let's, con let's uh, compare these two, okay? 밥 먹고 왔어요 means you finished your meal. You did one thing and you finished it, it's done, it's over, and you came over here. Or you were already here, okay, you were already here, and then you went there and you came back to the original place. But when you say 밥 먹다 왔어요, it means that you were in the middle of doing something, you were not able to finish it, and you came over here. Okay, 밥 먹다 왔어요. 밥 먹고 왔어요. So, for example, you are having breakfast, all right, or dinner, where, uh, you know, depending on where you are. And you heard this notification from your phone, ding, talk to me in Korean is going live, you know. It's going to be for one hour only. Come over here and study. You can say, 밥 먹다 왔어요. Okay, 밥 먹다 왔어요. So, Another example, this is a very, very, very good question, very common question people use. 뭐하다 왔어요? 뭐하다 왔어요? Yeah, so you, yeah, 운동하다 왔어요, good. So you were, uh, for example, you, you just meet someone. Um, I'm thinking of an example right now. You meet someone and usually this person is dressed in a certain way, always. You know, they, you know, people have their own usual outfit style, right? But then this person is dressed in a very peculiar way, like normally something that they never wear. And then you, you, you are naturally wondering, oh, 뭐하다 왔어요? Why are you uh, dressed like that? 뭐하다 왔어요? What were you doing before coming here? What were you doing or what were you in the middle of just before to come here, okay? Ah, gummy noodles, <laughs> 자다 왔어요. <laughs> you were sleeping and you didn't quite finish your sleep, but then you, yeah, you had to attend the class. Okay. Perfect, right? Ah, 한국에 있는 남친이랑 통화하다 왔어요. I am lovely official said 한국에 있는 남친. 남친 is boyfriend. 남친이랑 통화하다 왔어요. I was on the phone just before this. Um, with my boyfriend who is in Korea. That's the translation. Amazing, I think uh, most of you already understood this. All right, 이제 이해해요? 이제 이해되죠? Fantastic, okay? If you find this confusing, please review this clip or this part a little later on, all right? Uh, okay, Annette, Apia, how would I say I should have in 과거 시제? I'll take a note. I should have, uh, we'll mention it later. As I do more and more live classes, I'm getting, you know, a little better at it each time and like 
sometimes I see a, a question and I don't get back to it. So I brought my notebook to keep things down, uh, write things down. All right, perfect. So whatever you were doing right before this and maybe it was finished, but still you're still in the mood or you're still in that mode, right? And it just happened right now. Uh, it just happened a moment ago or you were uh, still in the middle of doing it, not finished it. And then you came over to do something else. So that's a very good use, uh, very good phrase to use. And then the next one, let's move on to the next one that we can practice together. All right, the next one is also let me know if this is new, like you did with the previous phrase. Uh, 예전에는 아 였는데 지금은 so, so 예전에는 예전 rain 향한 I will answer that 예전 is before 예전 okay before now is 지금 예전에는 as for before or in the past I did this now I do this. So again, uh, when someone asks you, oh, do you still work out every day? Uh, 예전에는 매일 운동했는데 지금은 안 해요. Something like that. My latte. <laughs> There's a frog <clears throat> in my mouth. <laughs> this is really bad today. But I'm very good. Okay, maybe some of you will prefer this voice. Uh huh. 예전에는 뚱땡이였는데 지금은 날씬해요. <laughs> Keep smiling says that. Okay, I I know, I know it's not a very good word to say to someone or about someone. I will just introduce it because it came up. Okay, you you can safely say this about yourself. Okay. Be. Careful with this word, okay? <laughs> Dungdengi is a chubby person. It's it's a cute term, especially if you address yourself or talk about yourself as Dungdengi, because it comes from Dungdunghada to be chubby, okay? So, 예전에는 Dungdengi였는데 you were chubby before, but now 날씬해요, 날씬. Hada is to be slim, okay? Uh, Athia NKP says, 예전에는 운동을 안 했는데 지금은 코로나 바이러스 때문에 가끔 해요. Okay, you, so you actually changed it a little more. 예전에는 운동을 안 했는데 you didn't work out before, but now because of the coronavirus, I do it sometimes. Oh, L, 예전에는, I'll tweak your sentence a little bit if you allow me. 한국어를 잘 못했는데 지금은 지금은 where is it? 지금은 잘해요. Yeah. Uh, before I did not speak Korean well, but now I'm good. Okay. Uh, 예전에는 한국어를 매일 공부했는데 지금은 안 해요. You used to study Korean every day, but now you don't. So when you say you used to do something in the past and now you don't, or you used to do, used to be a certain way before, now you are in a different way. Um, yeah, you can say this. Aha. Uh -huh. 예전에는 매일 요리했는데 지금은 안 해요. Great. Mm. Are you sure, Debbie? You saw me in a BTS video? I don't think I was in a BTS video, but, or is it a video related to BTS? Yeah. Actually, there are two, no, yeah, two big BTS fans on the team as well. So I get to hear a lot about the BTS activities. So um, before I wasn't really like following the news about BTS, the band um, very closely, but now automatically I hear all the news and you know, uh, by the way, did you guys check out the 
learn Korean with BTS videos. I actually signed up to watch the videos and I think they're fun to watch. Uh, they are going to be good supplements to your Korean learning materials. But for a lot of like absolute beginners, it can be a little bit difficult. So of course they will, it's a good thing. It's good that they are putting out materials for Korean learners. That way I think more people will be interested in learning Korean and actually seriously study the Korean language and they will naturally look for uh, what are some other materials that we can use and it's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, yeah, I think the videos are very cute and very um, beautifully made. And I think, I think the purpose, because the videos are gonna be very short, three minutes long, and there are only going to be 30 episodes, I think they are more, um, going to be more of a motivator than an actual study material. So it's, it's great. Okay, so, 예전에는, we talked about this. And I think you guys already practiced enough with this. I'll move over to the next one. I think this is the key, the most important uh, phrase that I wanted to introduce today. This is uh, a phrase that we get questions about all the time. Or this is the longer version. Uh, oh, yo, no so yo. Do you have, do I have a pencil I can borrow? I have a pen that you can use if you, if you can take it from me, <laughs> but I wish I could give it to you somehow, like Zach King. So, um, yeah, nota, yeah, Joe, you are correct about it. Nota is to put something down. Um, you know, I had something in my throat, I drank, you made a typo? Where? Maybe because, yeah, there's, yeah. So this is the original form and maybe that's why it's kind of thinking that it's a typo, but this is, wh where is the typo? Yeah, this is the original form and you, where, where? Ah, okay, <laughs> thank you. Ah. You know what? There's a, yeah, but <laughs> top line. Thank you. Everybody's very, very eager to let me know. That's good. So yeah, I don't want to confuse anyone. So that's good. Thank you for letting me know. Um, there's a Korean saying, before I go into this, I, I really need to, this is a very opportune moment to introduce 아 다르고 어 다르다. This is a very common Korean saying that people sometimes use. Um, this is this means um, how you phrase something is important. 아 다르고 어 다르다. Let's um, practice it together. Say it with me. 아 아 and 어 어. Obviously, 아 and 어 are different. <laughs> all, you, you all have eagle eyes, yes. Ah, uh, oh. So this phrase is not only stating the obvious, it means ah, tarugo, oh, tarada means, you know, if you're gonna say something, depending on how you say it, it can really hurt the other person's feelings or it can make the other person feel good. Ah, tarugo, oh, tarada. So if you're gonna ask a favor of someone, f phrase it in a nicer way, like ah, tarugo, oh, tarande. Wait, 그렇게, 그렇게 말해요? Or, 아, 다르고, 어, like another typo, you found it, right? 어, 다른데? I'm just trying to type fast for you guys. I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> another typo, yes, I found it first. I found it before you did. <laughs> because there's, I think, a three second lag between here and there. 아, 다르고, 어, 다른데? Uh, 그렇게 말해야겠어요. So I just 
yeah, typed two sentences. A 다르고 어 다른데. So A and O are different, and this kind of phrase, this kind of phrase feel different. Why do you talk like that? A 다르고 어 다른데 꼭 그렇게 말해야겠어요. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. So everybody's gonna tease me for the two typos. Uh, Rebecca says, uh, do you, are you sure you know Korean? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. So it emphasizes, this saying emphasizes the importance of choosing nice words, okay? 아 다르고 어 다른데 꼭 그렇게 말해야겠어요. So a good realistic example of that could be so I can ask, for example, Kyungun to do something for me while you know I'm spending some time with my kids. I can say, 이거 좀 해, 이거 좀 해, right? I can do it. I can say, do it, do it. Or I can say, 이거 좀 해줄 수 있어? Can you? Could you do it for me? Could you do this for me, please? You know. So 아 다르고 어 다른데. 좀더 좋게 말하는 게 좋죠. It's better to use nicer phrases, right? So, all this is related to the typo that I made, which was a and o. Okay? 박진환님, am I Korean or American? I am Korean. 네, 한국 사람입니다. 반갑습니다. 혹시 한국 분이시면? <laughs> yeah. All right. 아 다르고 어 다르다. It's not similar to filler words. It's just a phrase. It's a proverb or a saying that you can use like that as is to talk about how um, important using choosing nicer kind of words is. Okay. All right. So uh, let's move over to the previous, the original phrase that I wanted to introduce to you. It's uh, the last variation that I wanted to introduce to you. To, uh, two, um, it's fine, everyone. You can you can tease me. There's no one on the team that teases me, except like twelve other people, and we are a team of thirteen people. So everybody teases me on a regular basis. So I'm yeah, I'm fine. Um, you know. So nota is to lay something down. You you I had my cup and I put it down. You know, what has been done? It's here. You put it down. Think of this as an action, okay? It's an action. You did something and you put it down. Does it change? It doesn't change, it stays there, okay? So you do something and you put it down there. It's there, apart from the fact that it doesn't change, it's also there for grabs. Other people can take it or other people can benefit from it. Other people can see it. So, 해 놓다 is you do something and you complete the action um, for other people. Okay? Alright? So, 아, 어, 여, 놓다. Okay, I'll type the original dictionary ending, 놓다. Yeah. So, use Let's use it with henota, okay? Henota is, um, for example, you are a student and you have to do your homework. And before you um, do something else, your parents can ask you, did you finish your homework? And you can say, ah, 다 해놨어요. Okay? 다, you can say, let's just omit 다 because it doesn't mean anything here. 다 했어요. I finished it, you know, it's done, it's finished, 다 했어요. It means it's over, 다 해놨어요. It also means the same thing, it's translated in the same way in English or other languages, but 다 해놨어요, it's like, it's been done, I, I can just, you know, take it tomorrow to school or send it to someone. It's prepared for the next phase. It's been done, it's been prepared for the next stage or step, okay? I'm lovely official. Alam uh, henasayo. Okay, you, you have set the alarm. Okay, the 
computer is lagging again. Alam machosoyo, alam macho nasoyo. They are uh, technically not that different. Oops, typo. The problem is there's a lag. Okay, so alam machosoyo. It's a simple fact that you're just stating the simple fact that you set the alarm in the past tense. Um, alam macho nasoyo. It means you've set the alarm so that the next step, so that you are prepared for the next phase, okay? Do you understand this concept? So when someone asks you to move like a box from this desk to this desk, you can say This is a very simple concept, I moved it no additional meaning attached to it. 옮겼어요. It's just a simple fact. But if you say 옮겨놨어요, it means it's been done, what you asked me to do, I have done it, and whatever you want to do next, you can do it from then on. So the thing, the object that you asked me to move is now, has been, has been moved, and it's now ready for the next action. Good, Sophie Baker. 준비해 놨어요. 준비했어요. So take a look at this here and here. Okay, 준비했어요 and 옮겼어요. So you, these two sentences can be part of a longer story. Like you um, did something and then you did something. You did something. But 준비해 놨어요. When you say that, it's closer to the present, right now, present moment. Like, because right now things are in this phase. 준비해 놨어요. Okay. Exactly. Um, Shoban, uh, you're expecting an action to happen after that. Mm -hmm. 은호, 숙제 다 해놨어. Yes, I finished all my homework and <laughs> my mom or my wife uh, before my mom now my wife sometimes only sometimes they used to say or they say uh, like the dinner is ready you can say 저녁 준비됐어 but 저녁 다 해놨어 the dinner has all been done and it's ready it's prepared is it commonly used all the time very commonly used so um, whatever phrase I introduce, whatever grammar structure I introduce, a good way to see how it's used is, you know, how I am active on Twitter, right? Twitter is a very good tool. So I will just type Twitter here. Twitter. Um, as a reminder, go on Twitter, type in the phrase you learned today or any other time and you will see the actual usages that people are using. Of course, there are, since it's Twitter, there are many rules that are broken there, just like in your own language, probably. People make, you know, deliberate typos to, just to be funny, you know, word plays are there, but you will get a general, a good general idea of how things are. And if you uh, type something and the exact the results are not exactly the same sentences that you are looking for just use the quotation marks just like google if you use quotation marks here and there like in, in front of the sentence and at the end of the sentence it'll only search for the exact same phrase that you're looking for okay oh annette this is a very good one 일단 먹을 거 oops 일단 먹을 거 사놨어요 일단 is First of all, before the other things are done, 일단 first, 먹을 거, food, things to eat. 먹을 거, 사놨어요. I've bought and prepared, I bought and, you know, put the food, the things that we will eat first, okay? Oh, 편, I think uh, maybe if you're referring to Garrick, 편집. So, you're a YouTuber, where's my coffee? On my desk. I finished it. A triple shot latte. <laughs> 설거지, 편집, anything that you need to do as some sort of a chore, some sort of a, an, uh, some sort of a homework that you need to do. So 편집, 
is editing. Editing your videos, audio, recordings, or anything like that. So your editor, your YouTuber, you have a, a you know, editor that you hired, you can say, or the editor can say, uh, 어제 찍은 비디오 편집 다 해놨어요. 편집 다 했어요. Let's compare these two sentences as a review. I'm sure you understand it. 어제 찍은 비디오 편집 다 했어요. I'm referring to this one and this one, the third one. If you say 어제 찍은 비디오 편집 다 했어요, it means I finished editing the video that we shot yesterday. But if you say this, 어제 찍은 비디오 편집 다 해놨어요, it means I finished editing the video that we shot yesterday and I want you to take the next action. 다 해놨어요. Maybe you need to upload it after you review it, um, schedule it, make a thumbnail for it, things like that. All right. So I wanted to introduce the phrases, the three phrases. 하다 왔어요. As in, 뭐 하다 왔어요. What were you in the middle of doing before coming here? And um, 예, 예전에는 했는데 지금은 so and so and 해 났어요. I wanted to introduce these three endings for beginner, intermediate, advanced learners, learners of all levels. Um, okay, Rogue says, so 났어요 is when you expect other people to complete the actions. Um, more than completing, it's more like, you know, doing the next actions. The action, this, this action itself is complete. Okay? All right. Let me answer some questions that you guys have about the Korean language in general or the phrases and words that you recently learned. Anissa, starting with Anissa's um, question, it's out of topic, but is this sentence correct? 선생님 사람이 선생님 같은 사람이랑 결혼하고 싶어요. 선생님 같은 사람이랑 Yeah, it's a correct phrase. I want to get married to someone like teacher or, you know, 선생님 can be referring to you who is a teacher. What time is it? It's Let me show you. 9:30 9 morning. Ah, okay, yes. <laughs> I took, I wrote down two things that I wanted to introduce. Yes, I will do that. Um, Hyang means direction. Hyang, okay? So when you talk about Korean houses, apartments in the real estate agencies, they always talk about Donghyang, Namhyang. 북향, 서향, 남서향, 동남향, like that. Um, 향 means direction. You know, 동서남북 is east, west, 남, south, 북, north. So they always talk about the 향, the direction, where the house is facing, um, like this. So 동향, like it's facing the east. Or Namhyang. Usually houses are built like apartments are usually built in you know built so that they are Namhyang or Nam Soyang slightly. My apartment is slightly Nam Nam Soyang, Nam Soyang like that. So I can see the sunset and I can see the sunrise over there, but not directly. Um so yeah. So Hyang is direction and when you say Ul Hyanghan or Hyanghada is to be oriented in a certain direction, to be directed in this direction. So, 을향하다. And 을향한, therefore, means toward. So, um, BTS를 향한 뭐, 사랑. Or, 팬심, a fan's love. Or, um, 존경심. Respect. 선생님을 향한, um, yeah, maybe 
respect to Ngyongsim or something like that. But it's a very formal phrase. That's why I can only think of 사랑, 팬심 or 존경심. Uh, it's a very formal phrase. I'm lovely official says, uh, 나만을 사랑하다. Only love me. 나를만 사랑하다. 나를만 is incorrect. Only 나만을. Okay? Northeast in Korean is 북동. 북동향. Okay? Usually, north and south, the words for north and south, 북 and 남, come before the words for 동 and 서, like east and west. All right. And there was, I should have, right? I should, oops. I, I should have. I should have in Korean is or 했어야 됐어요. Um, 아, 아써야 됐어요, 어써야 됐어요, or 했어야 됐어요. When you say I have to do something, 해야 해요 or 해야 돼요, there are two versions, right? But 해야 돼요 is much more common in colloquialism in spoken Korean than 해야 해요. 해야 해요 is also pretty common in written language, written Korean, but 돼요, so 해야 됐어요. Uh, people often make it more dramatic, give it more emphasis by adding two elements. The first element is by adding an extra ot here. 했었어야 됐어요. By adding another ot, it just emphasizes the past tense. There's the there's a gap between the present status and the past action that should have happened. So, 했었어야 됐어요. Okay? And uh, another thing that people add to make this a little more dramatic, a li to make the feeling, the sensation felt more effectively is 했었어야 됐는데 as an exclamation, 했었어야 됐는데, 전화를 했었어야 됐는데, you end the sentence there like that as an exclamation, and what's omitted is, 안 했어요, I didn't, I forgot. 오늘 아침에 일찍 일어났었어야 됐는데, I should have, you know, woken up early, something like that. Um, in my neighborhood, as an example, uh, this did actually happen. In my neighborhood, there was a TV show, a very famous TV show that was shot uh, actually in the same building, in the same apartment building, and the crew, film crew came over. And a former member of a super famous boy band came to my apartment building with their kid, right? And then Maybe that, that actually happened and we didn't have to, uh, we didn't want to go out and see them. But maybe if someone heard about it later on, they, they can say, ah, 그 시간에 갔었어야 되는데. Or this part too, 되는데 is used. Oh, I should have, I should have gone there at that time to just kind of bump into them and say, hi, oh, hi, I was just in the neighborhood. I'm a big fan, something like that. When you have a little bit of regret, you can talk like that. All right, so some more questions before I go. I will have, um, I will take four more questions before I go. I will choose, I'll try to choose the best questions. I'm not saying that the questions that I don't choose are bad, but um, yeah, I should have phrased it differently. Yes, H-O-T. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm not doing any um, anything uh, like else. I am reading your comments. It's really difficult when you have to read the comments and have to talk at the same time. Let me just read the comments for 15 seconds. Ah, okay, this is a good one. Chris White.
So, 그냥 is just, okay? 그냥 is just. 그렇다 is to be so. 고 is a very common ending or suffix to, that you use to quote someone. 그렇다고 말해요. They say that so and so. 그냥 그렇다고 요. This is 반말, this is 존댓말. 반말, 존댓말. So if you're talking to someone in 존댓말, you have to use this. 그냥 그렇다고. It's just like that. I am saying that. So what it means is just saying. Okay? Just saying. 그냥 그렇다고. Um, I really don't think your dress flatters you. And um, you should wear something else. But it's just my opinion. 그냥 그렇다고. Just saying. <laughs> so 그냥 그렇다고 can um, be taken as a constructive piece of advice or it can be just, I don't know, picking a fight with someone. Yes, you may use the bathroom. So 그냥 그렇다고 is just saying. All right. By the way, um, just a random question. You know, Instagram has this feature, part of their service, where we can uh, make some stickers for the Instagram stories and also some filters. Would you like to see some Talk To Me Korean stickers or filters available in Instagram so that you can put Korean phrases here and there <laughs> when you post? Awesome. So oh, we've been talking to our designers and they have so many ideas like because they, you know, you know our books, our books are beautifully designed and our designers are really, really good at what they do. So I'm sure they can come up with something creative and beautiful at the same time, something you can use um, and learn from. Yeah, um, the stickers are actually, uh, you know, when you say stickers, the, the actual paper stickers, we did also make a lot of stickers to send out with our books during the spring sale season, which is now. But we can also make a lot of cool stickers online on Instagram. All right, people are loving the idea. All right. <laughs> yes, the question wasn't even fully out of my mouth when you guys were like, yeah, 네, 만들어주세요, 만들어주세요, 만들어주세요. Level 8 is coming in April, early April. Yeah, level 8 book, the grammar textbook. We are going to print it next week. The proofreading, all that, it's, it takes so much time. Have we run out of the paper stickers that we send out with the books during the spring sale season? Um, uh, I'm not sure. I will have to check with the shipping team. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're at least almost all gone. Elizabeth, thank you for um, loving our textbooks and workbooks. Dreadkit Tipdori, can you do more videos on sentence structure? Yes, we did make specifically one I mean, many of our videos are about sentence structure, sentence endings, but one video where we introduced a lot of uh, common sentence endings and that video is hugely popular, so we will make more. Uh, but basically, all of our grammar lessons are about sentence structures, but we'll put more in one video and uh, make more videos like that. All right. Mm, looking at all your questions. 질문 지금 보고 있어요. Andrea Gomez, uh, you joined the class too late. Don't worry, you can join us again at 5 p.m. today, Korean Standard Time, or join us again tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m., right? No, tomorrow is going to be 11 a.m. I'm lovely official. Uh, this question is so important that I have to actually pick and answer publicly. 선생님, 왜 그렇게 멋져요? Why are you so... Awesome. I don't have an answer. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, Sophie. 그런 셈이지. Another great question. Or 그런 셈이죠. Again, whenever there's a 반말 phrase, 반말 expression, I always like to give you the 존댓말 uh, alternative of it because I don't want you to get in trouble by using too much 반말 to people that you should be respectful to. 그런 셈이죠 is 
really, really important too. SEM is calculation. SEM. When you say, when you say SEDA, it means to count. 10가지 세세요. 10가지 세세요. Um, count to 10. 10가지 샘 다음에 Start or go after you count to 10. 그런 샘, 샘 is again the noun form of 세다, to count, so counting. So uh, 그런 샘이죠 is it's that kind of calculation. So when someone says something, you say, that's roughly true. Does it mean so and so? And you're like, yeah, 그런 셈이죠. Yeah, it's kind of like that. You could say that is the translation. Lisa Deep or Diep, thank you for the cute sticker and the super chat comment of $3. Thank you, really appreciate it. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Uh, what is my name? Uh, if you're asking me, my name is Hyunwoo. Oh, I never introduced my name during any of the live classes that I've done recently. Hyunwoo. Hyunwoo. My son thinks, I mean, he knows my name fully well, but sometimes he pronounces it like Hyunwoo <laughs> because that's how it's pronounced. All right, two questions. Um, Megan or Megan? Uh, can you explain the difference between a and eso? A is eso. A is at a certain location. So something is there, something exists there. 집에 있어요. I'm at home. 집에 있어요. But eso usually refers to an action taking place in a certain location. So 지금 집에서 공부하고 있어요. I am studying at home. So you cannot say 저는 지금 집에 공부하고 있어요. This is a wrong sentence. Okay? Because 집에서 is more common, more natural with um, what you're doing in a certain place. All right, I saw another really good question after uh, Megan's question. Oh, let me scroll up. Uh, 실시간 매일 하시나요? Do I do this live class every day uh, like this? Uh, yes, but at different times. 시간, 수업 시간은 매일 조금씩 다른데 어, 일정은 저희 인스타그램 하고 트위터에 올려놓았습니다. Oh, yeah, this one. Chelsea. Uh, 지금 This is a good one. Like, where do you see all these great phrases maybe from watching some you know tv shows or drama which is great um okay 지금 지금 is now 지금이야말로 지금이야말로 or um so so and so 이야말로 when there's a 받침 at, uh, at the end of the noun you put 이야말로 there's no 받침 you just say 야말로. 지금 야말로 means um, more than any other time. Now, now is so and so. 나야말로 when you say or 저야말로. So when you say something's not fair, like 억울해요. You feel that something's not fair, and someone else says, 아 저도 억울해요. I also feel it's not fair. It's you know it happened in someone else's favor. 억울해요, 억울해요. It's not fair. Um, you say 저야말로. It's me. So that's why uh, when someone says thank you to talk to me in Korean, we say 저희야말로 감사해요, 감사하죠. 저희야말로, 저야말로. I, more than anyone else, I am, you know, feeling that way. So 지금이야말로. More than any other time, so, for example, when you say, um, more than any other time, now is the time to learn more Korean or learn more Spanish, learn more English. 지금이야말로 uh, so and so를 공부할 때예요. Something like that. 
do uh, why do some Korean people have an English name? Mm, maybe I'm glad I don't have an English name because um, yeah, I'm I, I teach the Korean language and it would be strange to introduce myself with an English name, not using my Korean name, but um, maybe due to early childhood experience of living abroad, they had to come up with an English name to register um, officially, or they had other people not being able to pronounce or remember their Korean name. So they, you know, just pick an English name. Hey, uh, I, my, my original Korean name is this, but you can just call me so and so. All right, all right. Read, please talk about 는, 은, 가, 이, 은, 는, 이가. I wish I could in this video, but it would take like 20 minutes. But I did make a super detailed video where you can actually understand everything. Just type 은 or 는, any of those four um, markers in the search bar on our channel, and you will find a very good video that I made myself, uh, edited myself a couple of years ago. Veronica, is there a big difference between 나의, 내? Okay. Um, in 반말, of course, 내 is my, 나의 means eyes or my. The difference is people use this and people don't use this in spoken Korean. 내, 내, 나의 is only um, in written Korean or poetic Korean, stuff like that not in spoken Korean. Never ever use 나의. They will think that you are reciting a poem. Okay. Okay. Waiting for a comment. The last, com last, last question to answer today. 마지막. This is not a question. Um, I'm lovely official asks me a lot of good questions today. 선생님, 애교도 할수 있을까요? 그거 보고 싶은데요. You want to see my 애교? You will never ever see it in your entire life. Uh, okay. Ah, Margie, this will be my last question to answer. This is the last question I will answer today. 오늘 마지막으로 이 질문 답하고 마무리할게요. 벌써 57분 됐어요. Sorry, 57 minutes. Uh, 한국에서 일하고 싶으면 한국어 능력 시험에서 어떤 수준이 필요해요? So, Margie, you wrote this comment in Korean. In order to be able to work in Korea um, at the 한국어 능력 시험, the Korean proficiency test, what level do I need if you want to work in Korea? You wrote this question perfectly well and I, I, I'm assuming that your Korean is super advanced. 정말 잘하시는 것 같아요. 진짜로 잘하시는 것 같아요. So with your Korean level, if you can speak at the same level, you will have no problem coming to Korea and working here in Korea at, a, you know, at an average Korean company. But it really depends on the person. You either have to so i think there are two directions you either have a super detailed specific expertise in something in that case you probably only need very very basic minimal korean like they need your expertise not your korean general korean skills but for most people it's just the case of the better the better <laughs> If your Korean is better, it'll just increase your chances of staying in that job or being or getting a raise. Because there's always a language barrier whenever you want to do something with someone who doesn't speak the language completely well. So um, even though there shouldn't be any effect coming from it, it's just bound to be that there will be at least one last task going to that person, one last favor going to that person, one last thing, one last message going to that person because of the language barrier there is. So just keep improving. But if you are talking about the minimum 
essential minimum viable level, you need to be able to talk to them about everyday things um, and understand written tasks even by using Google Translate. Just, just go into it knowing that Korean people are not used to working with um, people who don't speak the Korean language as their native language. So you got to put in a lot of effort, but in, at your level, you will be completely fine. The, the better, the better. The better your Korean is, the higher the chances of you getting a job and maintaining the job will be. Uh, Cassidy, where was your question? Please let me know. 궁금해 죽겠다고 하시는데 you're dying out of curiosity. I'm just scrolling up and up, up to to look for your to find your question. I can't see it. Can you type it again? I didn't see it. I don't see it. Thank you. Um, I might have missed a few questions here and there. I know I've I've missed a lot of questions here and there. Oh, okay, Cassidy. I thank you for retyping that. 진짜로 마지막. 한국어 배우기 시작한 지 1년이 넘었지만 배운 것보다 모르는 것이 더 많아요. 보통 언어를 배우면 유창할 때까지 얼마 동안 배워야 하나요? I certainly experienced experienced the same thing. Um, you can write this in really good Korean. 한국어 when when you learn a new language, you become fluent. Uh, but or you become conversational. How long does it take to become fluent? It really depends on the person, but I think if you give it your all, like one hour every day, two hours every day, usually like within two years, you can be quite, quite fluent. So study every day for two years, practice every day for two years. There's not much to it. Just learning, learning, improving, 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 improving. And then there's after that point, it's just adding one word a day two words a day, one more expression a day, okay? Uh, Siobhan, will Talk To Me In Korean ever do topic prep materials? I already answered this question yesterday. We are working on it. We have um, uh, actually almost finished one course to be released on our website. This, like, I'm not really a big fan of studying only for a test. So this will be also useful for people who are not interested in taking the topic test, but just improving their Korean skills in general. Yeah. All right. So that's it. I did answer many last questions today. 벌써 62분, 62 minutes. Thank you for staying with me for the, the past hour. And thank you for Forgiving me for not showing you any ego. My kids are full of ego, so maybe you can get some vicarious satisfaction from or by visiting me on Instagram. My Instagram is, you can find a lot of cute videos and pictures of my kids there. Um, and I was waiting for Kyungan to arrive. I was hoping that she would be here, but she's not here. So maybe at 5 p.m. today or tomorrow, I will, yeah, uh, I will drag her into the room, yeah, make her sit here and uh, call her. My phone is here. Should I really call her? Okay, I will let you hear her voice at least. Call her, okay, on Kakaoto. I can call her. She'll say hi at least. Maybe she's driving. Okay, <laughs> so if you're only here for a proper class, you can go, but I'll call her. Voice call because she might be driving. Oh, line is busy. Did you hear that? The ringtone went for two seconds and the line is busy. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's how it is. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that on Kakao Talk. You could hang up on someone so quickly on Kakao Talk. All right, so uh, I guess that's a fail and uh, I will see you next time. Um, 
Demetria, what about level 10? We are going to release level 10 in at least late April. It's coming. Yeah. It's there. We just have to finish it up and uh, do the recordings uh, or the edit the recordings and finish them, finish them up because we have so many beginner level, intermediate level materials that we're working on. We have a little less time for advanced materials. All right, guys. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. 감사합니다.